We love Tech Get Out, Get out. Howland Park, Park Junior High. Here's my project. This is my dream house. This is my dream house for my family. My project is a game on the phone, on the App Store. Well, I'm making a video mashup of all my favorite songs. We're trying to build a robot. I have to hook my cord up to E4. I'm Sadie Bradbury, and I teach grade seven science and technology, and grade eight and nine science. We won the Eastern Canada Makerspace and it was terrific. We videoed the kids and their technology projects and we started this a year ago. We gave them a project which was design something new and something innovative. So we videoed them and entered and a week later we won. We get lots of really cool stuff. Kids are most excited for the 3D printer. There's teacher programs and we get some PD with that. So it's gonna benefit all sorts of areas of the school and the kids mostly. We had very little equipment at the very start of the year and now we have the Makerspace equipment and we've also been awarded a brilliance lab to be a pilot school in Nova Scotia. So now we have a lot of equipment for these students to really grow their technology knowledge and investigate all sorts of projects with. Really excited to win that because I'm really enthusiastic about technology. I like like hands-on work. I'd skip every other class for it. It makes school exciting and fun. And they're always, they always teach me something that I want to know. Our school won it because of all the teachers and the passionate to help all of us. They were just nudging each other and oh, we can build this and we can build that. The, the excitement and the thoughts of the kids of where they could take this equipment was outstanding. You know, they, they actually are thrilled at, at winning this stuff. You know, they, couldn't, they didn't believe that we could enter a, a Canada-wide competition and actually win it. So that, that also gave them some belief in themselves that they could try this stuff, you know, try in life and you never know where it'll get you. Th this thing down here, that's the thing that helps with the line. Thing, right. right, but remember we put one of these on over that's here. That's the sensor. That's right, that, and so what's that gonna help it do? It's gonna help it follow the remote full link. And it can tell where when something's in front of it. Yeah. So they cannot wait to get in the classroom, it's the only class where they're fighting to get in the door, they're starting without you, they won't listen to you because they're right into their projects instantly. <laughs> like to try and stop them and give them a little bit of instruction doesn't always work. They're helping each other, they cooperate, they talk, they help each other solve problems, they investigate, they try, you know, that they don't, they don't seem to have as much fear of failing, you know, they don't give up so easily. You know, they'll try because it's their learning. So they've got some ownership over it. And, and they're seeing things happen in front of them and they're doing it. So they're getting some pride in their work of like, this is all me. And, and that's terrific. That's, that's exactly what we want for all of our kids in, in this school is like them excited about their own learning. I like making games and it feels good when people play my game. Cause I feel like like I'm inspiring people to play different games and make games. Cause I made a I made a game. It changed the way I feel about school because it's like you're not going in to do work. It's like you're going in to have fun. That's what I'm happy for these kids that they can have anything that they want. And I tell them that all the time. You can be whoever you want, and you can do whatever you want if you put your mind to it. And they're beginning to believe that. I want to be an engineer like Steve Jobs. I want to get a scholarship and go to MIT and get a degree in computer sciences and engineering and I want to build computers and I want to be innovative and I want to change the world. I think I want to make more games in the future and I'm going to be buying some kits myself so I can work on like at home and stuff. You never mess up. It's always like you can make even if you mess up you can make things out of the mess ups. I'm learning a lot. It feels good. Really good.